Right. Welcome back to my channel. We are continuing. This is the final part of the intro to Python course. We are on NumPy and we're starting average versus median. Okay, they have a story to go along with this, but it looks like what we're gonna do is print the median and the mean of this variable called np height n, which we are creating here from np baseball, which they've created. np height n is equal to, oh, we're doing the first column thing. I just edited that video, but I really wasn't paying a lot of attention. All right, let me look this up. Okay, I searched Python NumPy entire column because I couldn't think of anything better. And we have a stack overflow, how to access the ith column of a NumPy. Okay, so, oh, okay, so the colon is the row. So because it's a colon, you're selecting every row. And then after the comma is the, is the column. And so they're putting zero and we would need whatever we would. Need. So colon, comma, integer. So we're doing NP baseball. We do colon because we want every row. We do comma to say now we're on the column and we want the first column. So that's zero. And now for the mean and the median, you'll do print, you'll do np height n dot mean. Nope, I got this wrong. We're not doing np height n, we're doing np. We're doing the numpy mean, and then we're calling the mean on np height n. And then on line 13, we do a similar thing where we go print np dot median and then in parentheses, the argument we pass is np height n. Now when I run this, mean is the average and the median. So I have something wrong because you wouldn't have that much of a difference unless there's something weird in the data. I mean, because how would the average of the height be 1586? Wouldn't that be a sum? Let's see what happens. Okay. An average height of 1586 inches, that doesn't sound right, does it? However, the median does not seem affected by the outliers. 74 inches makes perfect sense. It's always a good idea to check both the median and the mean to get an idea about the overall distribution of the entire data set. Yeah, but how did... I mean, that's insane to say that somewhere in that data was... I don't know. Uh, you're talking about a height. That shouldn't be what the, the thing that you're using to demonstrate this. Oh, wow. Explore the baseball data. Because the mean and median are so far apart, you decide to complain to the MLB. They find the error and send corrected data over to you. So there was an error in the data. That's where the problem was. It wasn't that somebody actually was supposed to be some insanely high t tall height whatever okay so they have this word none that we're supposed to replace so i'm gonna see what the code is like line one they tell us that they've created this variable mp baseball which is what the mlb sent us then we have numpy which we're calling np then they want the mean height printed. So here's, they have a variable called average or AVG. 
which is equal to the mean of the heights. And then they print out the average and they give it a label as well. For the next three, they have the print statement already done with the label. So it's the, the word of what we're printing and then they convert the variable to a string. So what we need to do is get the median, so np dot median of np, oh, np baseball. We're not creating a specific variable for the height. We're just doing this from, from the numpy array, full numpy array. So in there, we're going to do column because colon because we want every row a comma to signify that we're talking about the column and then a zero because we only want the heights which is the the first column on each subarray right well anyway it's a zero now we want the standard deviation. So we're going to do something similar. NP dot. And then they give us on the side STDEV. STDEV. Nope. Use STD. There we go. Open parentheses. And we're calling the standard deviation of NP. I don't understand why there's two of these. And then we're saying every row, the first column. Now we want the correlation between the first and second columns. So let's try np dot. And they give us c-o-r-r. -R. Okay, that sounds, that looks right open parentheses, and we do NP baseball. And this is where I'm confused, because it wants between the first and second column. So does that mean I don't need to specify any column? All right, let me, let me scroll up and see the earlier ones. So average, which they did, mean, which is good that they're so similar, Standard deviation, so that's pretty low, which it should be. And then the correlation does look wrong. Maybe, okay, you know what? We have this here. And I think if you do help of, so I do numpy? No. Here, np.co whatever that is called. So the parameters that it takes, and what I'm thinking is X should be column one, the first column, and Y should be the second column. Well, let me see if this works, and if not, then I'll try to do the X and Y split. Now, all right, their tip, to calculate the correlation, the first argument to NP this function, should be the first column of NP baseball, similar to how we did it before. So are we not giving them a second one? We do colon, comma, zero, because that's the first column. Oh, correlation one. They don't need a second, second part. I don't understand why. Okay, if I submit that, no. Okay, so now it's saying the second argument to this correlation function should be the second column of NP baseball. And then they tell me how to do it. That shouldn't be that way. They shouldn't tell me how to do it, at least not yet. NP baseball, and then I want colon comma, one. I don't understand this one dot. 
Alright, just submit. Great, time to use all of your new data science skills in the last exercise. Blend it all together. Okay, in this exercise, we've contacted FIFA for information about their players. We're given the positions and the heights as each as a list. And then they have a whole story about what we want to show to FIFA about our Python skills, because I think FIFA really cares about our py Python skills. That was sarcasm. Okay, first thing we're doing is converting these two lists into NumPy arrays, because NumPy arrays are fancier and can do far more. NP positions is equal to an NP dot array of positions, and NP height is equal to NP dot array of heights. So goalkeepers are their position is GK. So what we want is GK height equals NP height. Okay, they tell us the index for this is going to be np under positions, our new variable, double equals gk. np positions double equals gk. So that's saying for every index in positions where the value is gk, we're going to put that index of np heights into gk heights. And so I'm going to see if I can do other heights equals np heights where np positions is not equal to gk. Now they want us to print the median height for goalkeepers and the median height for other players. And so they're saying the string of GK heights and the string of other heights. And we say run code. Oh, I did it completely wrong. I forgot the uh, median. Okay, let me go back. String of np dot median of n no of gk heights and np dot median of other heights. Now run. Alright, median height of goalkeepers is 188, and the median height of other players is 181. Submit. Wonderful, you are right, and the disbelievers were wrong. This exercise marks the end of the Intro to Python for Data Science course. See you in another course. Continue. Okay, they wanted to throw me into matplotlib. Oh, wait, is this intermediate Python? Oh, okay, this is what I was supposed to do is intermediate Python. All right, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm, not, I'm gonna stop the video here and I will start up with at least the, this first section of matplotlib. Thank you for watching. Let me know what helped you or what could have been better to help you more. And let me know what projects you're working on.